Today, we're going to be talking about getting access to specialists. Karen uh, Kushner is going to be our guest today. My name is Karen Kushner. I am an adult living with spina bifida. I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I have had a career in medicine for almost 25 years. Also work with service animals. I have a great Dane and she keeps me mobile, keeps me out of a wheelchair. What are some of the things that you rely on coverage for? The biggest thing right now is prescription coverage and then everyday access just to routine health care. Spina bifida, it's a neural tube defect, happens between the eighth and 10th week of gestation. Every single person with spina bifida is a little bit different. I like to say that it's just a spinal cord injury because that helps some people understand it a little bit easier. And so I have to have access to a neurosurgeon. I have to have access to a neurologist, an orthopedist, a urologist and sometimes a nephrologist to specialize in kidney care. Each plan is different. I encourage everyone to read the fine print in your plan. Many health systems, while your insurance may not require a referral, the health system itself may require a referral. It's a little bit different here in New Mexico. We have a pretty scarce pool of specialists. What happened during COVID was a lot of those specialists shut down. Many of them didn't come back. I've had a good deal of experience since I've moved here to New Mexico to constantly be, um, you know, you just get settled with one provider and you know them and you, you just appreciate them so much. And, and with spina bifida, you have to educate them um, to a certain level because many providers don't get much education about spina bifida. In my own care, with wanting to have a child into my 30s when I had doctors telling me, no, you can't, no, you can't. I always say that I would go as far as I could in this pregnancy. I had a 30-weeker in a NICU who did very very, very well. She's graduating from law school in a couple of months. My bad experiences with hospitals and insurances have created good experiences. That's where I learned with my own child and my own situation where I might not have walked again. I might have had tons of complications. Our child might have had tons of complications. And so again, you just had to say, this is the care I need. This, this is who I need to see. For me, it was getting access to physical therapy, to occupational therapy, to helps to find out you know, what else was going on with my um, spinal cord, because I could sense that something just wasn't right. And really, again, I hate to say doing battle, but just calling and talking to the staff of the physician's offices and saying, look, you know, something just isn't right. Could you please give me a referral to this doctor? Sometimes it comes to a point where you just have to say, hey, this is the care I need, and I'm going to go and get it. In the last 10 years here in New Mexico, I've lost pretty much every single one of my specialty providers. Mm -hmm. So I've been forced to look outside the state to other spina bifida clinics around the country to see where I could get care. And so for that, I've you know ended up back at Cleveland Clinic. The insurance here wanted to say, that's gonna be completely out of state, out of network. You could have seen somebody here for that same care. I've had to go back to them and say, I appreciate that, but no, this provider doesn't take care of patients with spina bifida or was not the right fit for this particular problem. I've been able to get it covered most of the time, 100%, because I've had to travel. I would just encourage each person, if you don't know and you're going someplace, call the practice, ask to speak to the practice manager, explain that this is the problem you're having and how can they help you get the care that you need. And nine times out of 10, they will find a workaround. Thank you very much for joining us today, Karen. Appreciate the insight you've given and the uh, experience that you've shared. Thank you for having me. You have a good rest of the day.